G'day, Kevin here from Duratuff. In this short video, I'm going to show you in four easy steps how you can design your dream shed using our 3D Shed Builder tool. So let's crack into it. Okay, first things first, if you're not already in the Shed Builder, go to duratuff.co.nz and click Shed Builder from the main menu. Okay, now we're into it. Let's quickly go over some of the features. Down here you have the models and dimensions of the shed you're working on, as well as your controls. Not really needed as you can rotate and zoom using your mouse, but handy if you want to undo something, and it doesn't hurt to reset the shed builder every now and then. Okay, now top right of screen, you've got a few buttons here. Watch tutorial, we'll simply open this tutorial video. If you've saved a shed earlier, enter shed number is where you can enter in its 16 digit shed number, so you can continue working on it. View details brings up the details of the shed you're designing in its current state. Save my shed, I'll touch on later. And you don't need to worry about sales login. Right, let's look at how we design a shed. Pretty easy really, you've got four steps to go through. Our first step is to select the range we'd like to work with. This will bring up the models and sizes available in that range, grouped by roof style, and generally from smallest to largest. You can choose to work on any model just by clicking on it. For this example, let's say you want a Kiwi Mark III. For full timber framed, cedar and cedar rustics ranges, Step 2 allows you to add or move doors and windows. Rotate your shed and you'll see what layouts are possible on each wall, and simply click allow to apply it. Once you've added them, you can click on doors and windows to view the available options. Let's get a bit of breeze in the shed by changing this fixed window to a louver window. The third step is where you choose a colour scheme for your shed. The selection of colours available depends on which range and brand you're working on. As this Mark III is a Kiwi shed, you can choose separate wall and trim colours. Sink is the cheapest option, but let's go for birch stone walls and grey fryers trim. Almost done, time to add the bells and whistles. For this Mark III, Duratuff can supply a timber floor, but let's say you're laying your own concrete pad. As this is a Kiwi shed, to improve weatherproofing, we'd recommend a raised floor modification and a bolt down kit. If you're unsure about what an item is, just click the corresponding information icon. That's the design work completed. If you're happy with your shed, you can now click Save My Shed. Here you enter your details and any additional notes. Then click Submit and you'll be emailed an estimate that contains a shed number and links to the return to your design, information on stockists and recommended assembly services. So there you have it. You've designed your shed, you've got your unique shed number, you can take it to your nearest retailer to get a quote and then if you wanted to go ahead, you can place an order. That's me signing off. Have a good one. We hope you go with the Jura Tough.